No matter what party you prefer, there's one thing we can all agree on. If we don't quit our dependence on foreign oil and get serious about dealing with global warming, we're totally screwed. So how do Obama and McCain plan on cleaning and greening things up? Barack Obama thinks that within five years, 10% of our electricity should come from renewable resources. Like wind and solar and biodiesel. And he thinks that if we pump $150 billion into green technology over the next 10 years, we'll not only clean things up, we'll also create 5 million new jobs. More green jobs, more green businesses, more innovation, more ingenuity. His plan will encourage us to go greener with our rides by providing a $7,000 credit to people who buy an Earth-friendly vehicle. His goal is to get 1,150,000 mile-to-the-gallon plug-in electric hybrid cars on the highways in the next seven years. As for big business, well, he wants to set up a system where green companies get tax breaks, and the ones that pollute pay more. Obama also has a plan to prioritize the building of a natural gas pipeline from Alaska, providing more clean fuel that comes from good old America. John McCain's strategy is a plan called the Lexington Project. It's also meant to clean up the planet, but using some very different ideas. Clean burning coal and nuclear energy. McCain wants to invest $2 billion a year in clean coal technology. And he's also set a goal to build 45 new nuclear power plants by 2030. Nuclear power isn't bad for the environment, unless of course it melts down and kills all of us. He also hinted at permanent tax credits for companies that invest in renewable energy. McCain also has a plan to make all of our federal government buildings energy efficient, setting a good example for the rest of the world in the process. And that'd be a good idea, considering our government is the biggest consumer of electricity on the planet. Both candidates have a plan to clean up this mess, but whose makes better sense? Obama's plan seems to be more radical in asking for change, but that won't be easy or cheap. McCain's could be less expensive, but is nuclear and clean coal the way to go? Look, all we know for sure is that we better get green or it's not going to be pretty.